per, per se. A bird of prey, though. Oh boy, Cody's standing by. Thank goodness it's Cody talking hawks with Heather of FEL Nature Center. Good morning. That's right. Welcome to Hawk Talk. Uh, Cody and Heather here with our friend. Who's our friend? <laughs> this is Orion. He is Orion. a Swainson's hawk. Oh, a Swainson's hawk, yeah. also known as a grasshopper hawk. <laughs> yes. See, I'm, I'm just auditioning for the show. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so why uh, why do they call it a grasshopper hawk? <clears throat> Well, so they have a really interesting diet. Uh, During the breeding season, when they've got a lot of mouths to feed, they eat what the typ people typically expect a raptor to eat, mice, voles, squirrels. But during the non-breeding season, they are insect hunters. So grasshoppers, oh. dragonflies. Well, that's very handy. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Uh, once again, uh, we got to ask you about the towel there. Um, <laughs> normally, our guests don't put towels down. Sure. Uh, but, you know, it is a bird <laughs> yes. to do things. Yeah. I'm guessing. Okay, that's yeah. what the towel's for. I didn't know. I didn't know if there was something else going to do. Uh, tell us a little bit more about so we know it eats uh, you know, the, what the things. Uh, what else about this, uh, this hawk that we, we should know about? Well, they're really interesting. They can have a very long migration, they can travel all the way down to South America. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And some populations will stay, but um, some of them will travel. And that's actually one of the biggest threats to them. That it's getting better now, but historically, outside of the United States, some really dangerous pesticides were used. Mm. And as we mentioned, they are insect hunters, and so they were traveling down south, eating those insects, and it really caused a sharp decline in their population. It's getting a little bit better now. Um, some areas here in the Central Valley, they are doing a lot to help mitigate the habitat loss. Um, and, you know, we think agricultural areas, we've got a lot of open fields, which is what they like to do their hunting, but they can't, okay. oh, there. <laughs> they can't hunt in all of the different um, crops that we produce here. So it has to be more of an open field like alfalfa oh, okay. as opposed to something with a lot of cover. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Now, when they fly to South America, do they use GPS or do they <laughs> just rely on directions from people? Do they just like stop and I, I was fascinated, like, like, like butterflies, you know, mm -hmm. they, they make this whole big loop and sure. everything. Those monarch butterflies. Do they do the same thing? Do they like to go to a certain region? I'm sorry, I shouldn't use that. <laughs> sorry. A certain region <laughs> in South America? Or? Um, so, you know, it depends on the population. Um, some of them won't go as far. Some of them will travel all the way down to the southern tip. And they travel in really large groups called kettles. So Ooh. up to 10,000, I've heard. Ooh, that's cool. That's uh, You can use that at a dinner party. What's a, a group of hawks called? A kettle. Yeah. Right? A kettle. kettle. That's interesting. A oh. kettle. Those talons, too, are fascinating. I'm just, like, looking at that. So uh, did, this, did you use the talons? Is that how it grabs its prey? Yeah, so all raptors are hunters with their feet. Mm -hmm. um, typically, it's going to happen as a, you know, a, uh, Good thing either. you had the towel. Yeah. Uh, so, uh. <laughs> um, so Swainson's hawks, because they are eating insects, they can catch them on the fly, but they're also known to run along the ground and snatch them, kind of like a chicken running around. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that's so interesting. I have heard accounts of them actually waiting at the leading edge of a grass fire for the insects that are moving away so they've got that no. bounty of prey yeah that is fascinating okay i can't wait you guys should go check out hawk talk when is hawk talk hawk talk is sunday at 1 30. we actually have programs every weekend mm -hmm. um, we are it's no charge to the public but we are a nonprofit, and so we depend on memberships and donations so we do ask for a two dollar person donation but great programs happen every weekend saturdays at 10 30 sundays at 1 30 and there's lots of variety Lots of education happening. It's very good. Cool. You guys do great work out thank there. You. you really do. It's fascinating. So, well, thank you very much. And that ends this episode of Hot Talk. <laughs> Hot Talk. <laughs> that, uh, I'm telling you, that towel came in very handy. <laughs> that nice it did. Job. That it did. Yes. 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 We're going to get one for no, you. you're not going to show one. People are going to be really <laughs> impressed. Wow, they don't even see it. it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Look forward to Hot Talk coming up on Sunday afternoon. Yes. Let's go check on the roadways. Hi, Court. Hello.